Welcome to iLecture Online. As we have seen in the previous videos, there's no question that once upon a time there was a lot of water on Mars, liquid water in all kinds of manners and forms, rain, rivers, lakes, you name it, it was all there. Now we know that Mars is a very dry and barren planet. There's not a shred of life of any sort I've been able to find. And yes, we do find ruins of old lake bits like we see on this picture right here. But is there flowing water on Mars today? And of course, the assumption is that it's no longer the case. But we saw some very interesting things. With the MRO, as we call it, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, we took pictures of the same craters and crater sides years apart. Here's an example where in 1999 we took this picture, and then six years later we took another picture of the exact same location and we did see some amazing feature right here that was not there before. A very new extended portion of one of those runoff channels. And so as we studied it and analyzed it as much as we could, because there could be different reasons why that outflow channel is there, other than water, eventually they concluded that almost certainly that was the result of water runoff. What we expect is that water comes out of the side of the crater, there's subsurface water. As it comes out, of course, once it's exposed to the very tiniest atmosphere, it immediately begins to boil, but as it's boiling, it's running down and it's carving this feature. Of course, there had to be a fair amount of water for a visible feature to be created like that. There's another place on Mars where, in this very same way, pictures were taken four years apart and the same kind of thing was seen where a channel, that flow channel, actually increased in size due to recent activity. So now we know that there's still running water on Mars. It's very fleeting. It comes out of the side. It runs down the hill. It evaporates very quickly as it begins to boil immediately regardless of the temperature. And if it's cold enough, it begins to boil and then freezes at the same time as well. But eventually, it does produce these small features that can be recognized by the orbiters that are going around Mars, taking those very high-resolution pictures. So it's amazing, there's still flowing water on Mars today, although it's rare and it's just in few locations around the planet. The fact that we already found several of them probably means that there's more of them that we haven't found yet. So stay tuned, there'll probably be more news of flowing water on Mars.